so we have here the SCSI 2SD version 6 board. Uh, I have a couple of these uh, version 5 boards. Um, but I wanted to get this version 6 board because there was a couple things I liked about it. First of all, it's it uses a full size SD card, which is great because those micro SD cards can be kind of a pain. They're so small that you can lose them sometimes. Another nice thing about this is that it supports seven uh, virtual drives as opposed to version 5, which I believe is 4. Um, so that's nice, especially for these old SCSI samplers that have limited uh, hard drive sizes like the Akai S1000 and the Roland S760s. <clears throat> so it's nice to be able to have a lot more space on one uh, SD card. So I just wanted to make this video to, to show you guys how to configure it because I don't think there's too many videos on that. So it's just something something quick to give you an idea how to set this up. So let's go ahead and plug this in. Alright, so let's load up the software here. Now I down this uh, actual utility doesn't come with the actual board. You have to download it from their website. So uh, I forget the name of the website, but I'm sure you can track that down. So this is it. It actually looks like the old version uh, five uh, software. The only difference I see is mainly these. Uh, you have the seven devices up here, as opposed to four. Everything here looks pretty similar. I usually leave this as dip as default. It's worked for me. But you can experiment with that if you want to try these different settings here. The main thing I usually change is, uh, you know, enable these devices and configure them for whatever size I need. <clears throat> so, first thing we'll do is just load. Since I already kind of play with this, I'm going to load the settings from the card. But if you're using a brand new card, there's not going to be anything in there. So, it loads pretty quick. And um, let's just do what I'm going to do here. I'm not going to actually plug it into the sampler. I'm just going to leave this connected to the Mac to show you guys the different drives, how the Mac or PC can actually access these virtual drives over the USB cable, which the version 5 vo uh, board couldn't do that. You can only see the first virtual drive. So that's a nice feature of the version 6 board. That you can actually access all these virtual uh, drives from the PC or Mac to transfer files back and forth. So what I'm going to do for now is just configure these as, let's say, just so I can go by quick, I'm going to say 100 megabytes. I shall click auto. I always I always do auto because it sets these um, the start SD start sector automatically. So let's go 100 megabyte. Okay, and then we'll go to the next device. Enable that SCSI ID one. That's good. Click auto, and again we'll make this a hundred. Device three. Make this a hundred two. And the fourth device. I'm making these small just so the format didn't go quick. So I'm going to leave these unchecked. Okay, that's good. So these are all enabled. And this one, the auto, for some reason. Okay, I must have forgot to check it. Okay, looks good. So we'll click save. And it writes that to the SD card. Click close. I'll go ahead and exit the utility. And now, let's see what Finder sees. I don't know if it sees it or you have to refresh it. Okay, it doesn't show him it, so we'll have to uh, unplug the USB cable and reconnect it. And then they should pop up, or at least something should pop up. All right, so we're getting this message. This was not readable. It's probably because it's not formatted. We'll click ignore, ignore. 
<clears throat> and we'll go into a uh, disk utility. Again, at this point, you don't have to format them here. You'd, you'd probably disconnect the board and take it to your sampler and format it with the file system of the sampler. But this is just for illustration purposes here. So there's the four devices, one, two, three, four. Right, so let's go ahead and um, format these. Um, let's call this one. OSX is fine. Now you see one here's already got a name. I think this is the default uh, partition. It comes with one automatically, so it's going to show up, but you can reformat it if you want. Okay, so that one's done. We'll do the next one, and I'm going to just uh, do all four here, and uh, I'll come back when it's done. Okay, so I went ahead and formatted all four. So you can see the four devices, one, two, three, four, and it's got the four different uh, volumes there. Yeah, so at this point, all I have to do is, um, you know, eject the volumes, you know, unplug the board, the SCSI board, and connect it to my sampler. And I'll be able to uh, load files or reformat the drives if I want. So, anyways, it was just a quick overview. Um, I haven't I haven't tested this uh, extensively, so I'm not quite sure if it works as well as the old version 5 board. So let me know if you guys have any questions or leave me some comments and uh, I'll try to answer them. So hopefully this helped you guys.